What is going on? All right, so um, I wanna show you how we are using uh, BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy, um, to communicate with an ESP32. And um, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's these like cycle trainers where you can hook your bike up to this thing and you can ride like on these virtual worlds and it's really cool. Um, and I wanna show you how we're using an ESP32 to um, mimic, mimic that. So first thing, if we look, um, the hammer, this is actually the cycling device and you can see there's a little yellow cycle thing. And here's my ESP32, my chip, my chip, which I have Bluetooth on. And if we connect, um, connect to the hammer, um, you can see it knows like it's a fitness app and you can, it actually knows, um, if you look that it's a bicycle and the way that it knows that is if you come over here to the Bluetooth, like standards, um, if you come to services, um, there's these standards that all these Bluetooth devices have that really help application developers. And you can see like, say you have a battery service, you have this code. Um, cycling power, this is basically what allows this, the ha this thing to know that it's a hammer, whatever. Um, fitness, then you got some glucose, all these different, like, they really have all these standard, like, characteristics for these services. Um, and then you can go down into, so services, then one step below that is characteristics. Um, and like cycling power, so battery level, blood pressure, all these different things have these standard like codes, right? So what we did on our ESP32, uh, we've got Arduino over here, is um, we just reverse engineered the cycle ops and we know that the um, service is 1818 and these are the different characteristics for like cycle power, uh, power feature and cycle location here and then if we come down to the loop um, basically we have this our characteristics and we can call notify um, based on setting a value so you can read these values um, and then if we come over now to the psych to the esp32 you can see um, it thinks or it knows it's also a bike and it knows it's a bike because we're using that standard code and then we have these different characteristics. Um, so this is just kind of, uh, I'm just tinkering with Bluetooth. It seems really interesting. I'm kind of reverse engineering this uh, cycling trainer. Um, so that's basically all I have right now. I want to keep playing with this and learning about it. It's just real interesting. Uh, but it seems fairly straightforward. And what really blew my mind is um, we have all these characteristics uh, already defined and they already we already have these standards so like basically i could start writing code against my trainer without writing hardware or i can create my own trainer hardware and then use like zwift that's how zwift and all these like cycling uh softwares are working um so if you're interested in bluetooth iot anything like that go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like i said i'm still learning this very very new um, but it's something i'm going to continue working on uh moving forward see you